Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening to you at whatever time of day you are watching this video. Welcome to Oil for the Journey. I'm your journey reader, Sharice. Today's reading will be taken from the book of Isaiah, chapters 46 through 48. <clears throat> Our scheduled readings follow the Bridges for Peace, Ignite the Truth reading plan. So let's begin. I'd like to start with prayer, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time of reading and listening. We ask that as we read, as we listen, that you would illuminate our minds to feel your presence and to hear what your word is speaking to us. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version. Baal bows down, Nebo stoops, their idols are on beasts and livestock. These things you carry are born as burdens on weary beasts. They stoop, they bow down together. They cannot save the burden, but themselves go in captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel who have been born by me from before your birth, carried from the womb. Even to your old age, I am he, and to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made you. I will bear, I will carry and will save. To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be alike? Those who lavish gold from the purse and weigh out silver in the scales hire a goldsmith as he makes it into a God. Then they fall down and worship. They lift their shoulders, they carry it, they set it in its place and it stands there. It cannot move from its place. If one cries to it, it does not answer or save him from his troubles. Remember this and stand firm. Recall it to mind, you transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, things not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purpose. Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man of my counsel from the far country. I have spoken and I will bring it to pass. I have purposed and I will do it. Listen to me, you stubborn of heart. You who are far from righteousness, I will bring near my righteousness. It is not far off and my salvation will not delay. I will put salvation in Zion, for Israel is my glory. Chapter 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind flour. Pull off your veil, strip off your robe, uncover your legs, pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered and your disgrace shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called the mistress of kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the aged you made your yoke exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be mistress forever, so that you did not lay these things to heart or remember their end. Now, therefore, hear this, you lover of pleasures, who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. I shall not sit as widow, nor know the loss of children. These two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and the great power of your enchantments. You felt secure in your wickedness, you said. No one sees me, and your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray. And you said in your heart, I am, and there is none beside me. But evil shall come upon you, which you will not know how to charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you, for which you will not be able to atone, and ruin shall come upon you suddenly, of which you know nothing. 
Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries with which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you. Those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at the new moons make known what shall come upon you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal of warming oneself is this, no fire to sit before. Such to you are those with whom you have labored, who have done businesses with you from your youth. They wander about, each in his own direction. There is no one to save you. Chapter 48. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Israel and who came from the waters of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and confess the God of Israel, but not in truth or right. For they call themselves after the holy city and stay themselves on the God of Israel, the Lord of hosts in his name. The former things I declared of old, they went out from my mouth and I announced them. They suddenly I did, then suddenly I did them and they came to pass. Because I know that you are obstinate and your neck is of iron sinew and your forehead brass. I declared them to you from old before they came to pass. I announced them to you. Lest you should say, my idol did them. My carved image and my mental image commanded them. You have heard. Now see all this. And will you not declare it? From this time forth, I announce to you new things, hidden things that you have not known. They are created now, not long ago. Before today, you have not heard of them, lest you should say, Behold, I knew them. You have never heard, you have never known, from your old, your ear has not been opened. For I knew that you would surely deal treacherously, and that from before birth you were called rebel. For my name's sake I defer my anger. For the sake of my praise I restrain it for you, that I may not cut you off. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tried you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do it. For how should my name be profaned? My glory I will not give to another. Listen to me, O Jacob and Israel, whom I called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My hand laid the foundation of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens when I call to them, they stand forth together. Assemble all of you and listen. Who among them has declared these things? The Lord loves him. He shall perform his purpose on Babylon and his arm shall be against the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken and called him. I have brought him and he will prosper in his way. Draw near to me. Hear this. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. From the time it came to be, I have been there. And now the Lord has sent me and his spirit. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way you should go. Oh, that you have paid attention to my commandments. Then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like waves of the sea. Your offspring would have been like the sand and your descendants like its grains. Their name would never be cut off or destroyed from before me. Go out from Babylon, flee from Chaldea, declare this with a shout of joy, proclaim it and send it out to the end of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob they did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them from a rock. He split the rock and water gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. And that concludes our reading for today. I hope that you all have been blessed from this reading and hear what the Spirit is saying through the prophet Isaiah. May you all have a wonderful, wonderful day.